you ever felt like things just needed needed a refresh just to be a little bit different? What's up all you cool cats and shop rats? Welcome back to Real Hard Garage. Uh, today, we're gonna do a little bit of a refresh on the shop. Um, nothing crazy, nothing huge. Not all projects have to be huge. Sometimes you can just move a couple things around and, and use that to inspire you and just refresh your space a little bit. And that's exactly what we did today. Just moving a couple things around kind of refreshes your space and it gives you a fresh perspective on things. And it, it kind of gives you a, a refresh of your space a refresh of your mind. One of the most important things about your workshop or your studio or, or wherever it is that you're working on your stuff, you have to stay inspired. If you're not inspired in your space, then you're dull, right? And if you're dull, you're not creating. And I think that at the end of the day, it all comes down to firing the right triggers that promote your creativity, that make you inspired. Yeah. It's got to be better. I don't know why Honda puts pads in their shit. I, I don't run them. All right. So we moved the hardware shit over here because this is like where you're always working on hardware. And then these fit perfectly there, which is fucking excellent. Got that shitty tank from out from there. Put it over there because that's like a dead space. I only get motivated when Colin comes over because... I don't know, just because. Organizational uh, plan vicariously through you because I don't take my own advice. There you go. But sometimes it's like good to just like refresh your space. Give yourself some like change of tune. As long as it's for the positive. Don't take steps backwards, move shit around, and then just end up with less floor space. Than don't make piles yeah, of shit in the middle of the floor. ideas built up of things that I wanted to do in the shop but I've been putting them off and procrastinating partly because I wasn't really believing in my own ideas the second guessing myself so we just jumped into it moved the stuff so trust your gut sometimes especially with the, the hardware situation that was going on here I knew that the hardware sorting station really didn't make sense back in the corner it was kind of like a no man's land and I was always sorting hardware up here, messing with hardware up here on the bench. Uh, so it just made sense for it to be up here and I'd, I'd been putting it off and overcomplicating the problem. Um, so now it's done. It took 10 minutes, we threw the shit over here, bada bing bada boom, and it's over with. And now my space is refreshed, I feel more inspired. And at the end of the day, that's what all of this is about. 
is just keeping your space inspiring to you. Having messes all over the place, that's not inspiring. Uh, that's a real fucking buzzkill if you ask me. I like things to be cleaner. Hey, maybe you can work that way. I can't. I can't handle messes. It drives me fucking crazy. Like e OCD. Now that we've got the hardware station moved up here, uh, that was like a big thorn in my side. We've got better utilization of the corner over there. We got some frames stuffed in the corner. We're actually able to spread things open and, and make a lot more room in here in between the bikes, uh, which is hugely important. So nothing crazy this week. Just remember, small changes can uh, make big progress and follow your gut. If you have an idea for something, chances are it's probably the right thing to do. Um, if you feel like something should be in a certain spot, a certain corner, or set up a certain way, just try it out. All in all, this is kind of playing into the grand scheme of where I see the shop going. We got lots of stuff planned. 10 minutes made a huge impact, uh, and sometimes that's all that it takes. So now we got the shop set up. We got a nice, inspiring space. Now ready to get to work. That's all that we have this week. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell. Like, comment, share. I really appreciate everything that uh, that you guys do, the comments and everything. I really love it. I really appreciate it. Uh, but stop watching this video and get out there and create something. Peace.